and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Julia and welcome, welcome, welcome. Be sure you are tuned in and hit that subscribe button so you're up to date on all the latest content. So for this video, you guys, we are in the virtual age, especially being that the pandemic is still going on and I am stepping into my residency interview process. So as you know, I'm a fourth year medical student. I will be graduating medical school this coming year and currently I am starting the process of residency interviews. So residency is the training that you do after medical school. So basically how it works is that I applied last month to a bunch of internal medicine programs across the nation and I have gotten interview invites to interview with those institutions. It is of course all virtual being that we are not able to travel all around the country and you know get around safely in this process so to make things fair and equitable it is all virtual which means that your virtual interview has to be on point you guys in the same way that if you were in person you would want to come with your a game attire dress nice you know ready to go prepared being that it's virtual you also have to take into account other considerations that you wouldn't have to if you were in person such as your surroundings your environment what your setting looks like when you're interviewing you know what's going on in the background is there noise still making sure that you're dressed appropriately so all of these things about the setup of interviewing that matters in this virtual day and age so right now i am trying to change up my setting of my office space to make my surroundings look really really sleek clean and good for my virtual interviews so that is what we're going to be doing in this video you guys i'm going to show you a look at my home office but also the process of virtualizing um this office for good interview setting so here is my home office you guys you can see i have my whiteboard my mac some background decorations that were there for prior videos, my tripod stand and ring light, and just some storage. So very empty space. It also has good bright lights, natural lights with the window there. So right now it's just a very basic space, which is good because a blank canvas is better than repainting the walls or something like that. And I also am going for a very neutral, very light, very kind of white and clean based tones for my interviews. So my idea as it stands right now is to take all my decorations off the walls. Um, I want to sit on either this wall or this wall back here and I want to be faced on a blank wall. Um, I also want to get some sort of canvas or long picture that's either a textured canvas or a very light neutral tone painting and i also want to get some sort of like house plant for the corner i always love you know when people have a nice house plant um next to them on zoom or something it just looks so cute and professional and like they're in the jungle or something but it's also like a professional jungle so you know that's why I, what i was trying to do with here here with my little fake plants but we gotta find something. So that is kind of the vision, what I have for like the setting of virtual interviewing or like my virtual Zoom. So I need to go and find the pieces that I need to make this vision happen. So we are gonna get the day started. We're gonna go to a couple stores today and try to find these pieces. I need a plant, I need some sort of canvas or background painting um, and anything else that kind of fits this vision. So let's get going. First stop. Home goods. This is kind of nice to like put a plant in there. Hmm? I gotta hold on to this. This might be, this might be the wave. Or like one like this. I like those. That one's bigger. That one's also ten dollars more. I kind of like the light colored thing though. So you guys, that's the problem with these stores is that you walk in and you immediately pick up things that you didn't even expect that you wanted. Like, get me out of here already. So now I'm looking for like wall decor. Like, um, I want a good neutral themed light canvas or picture for like the back of my setup. Um, so I'm here in the wall decor section. So I'm gonna see if I can find something I like that fits what I'm looking for. So let's see. 
No, I don't need like pictures. Like I don't want a picture of plants or anything like this. Um, ocean stuff is cool, but not really what I'm looking for either. So let's see. This, now this is kind of cool actually. Um, it also seems like this trim would fit the wicker basket. So let's keep this in mind. Let's see what else. This one's kind of cool, but that's dark. I don't like the dark setup. That's kind of nice, but once again, a little bit, the colors are a little dark. What is this? Hmm. No. I'm also looking for something longer, like lengthy, that covers the entire span of like, you know, behind me, so you can see the canvas, rather than something um, tall and wide um, that is going to be like, you know, only half in the frame or something. So I want something long. So this, something like this, Kind of fits what i'm looking for you see how it's longer in length i don't know what this is though is that is is that graham crackers are these graham crackers on there um i'm not too sure what that is so right idea but wrong painting so i actually kind of like this plant setup it would solve the problem of i wouldn't necessarily need the wicker basket it's fake so i don't have to water it which i love so I like that. Or this one, but he's skinny. <laughs> but I do prefer the leaves. The leafy plants rather than like the grass plants. Um, oh, this is so difficult. I'm coming back to this and I've decided against it because I'm not sure what that is. And it looks distracting, so I'm not sure I want that in the background. See, this one is really nice. It's tall, it's full. But what, what, $200 for a fake plant? Like it's not even gonna do anything, it's not gonna grow. All right guys, next stop Marshalls. Let's try here. Okay, let's see what they have here. Very similar to Home Goods, obviously. Um, not seeing anything. Very small selection. All right guys. Home Depot. If I can't find a plant in here, then I'm not sure where I'm gonna find one. So let's see. These are cute. This one's really cute, but it's real, I think. Uh, I don't know if I want that responsibility. I love this one. This one's super pretty. This one's nice too. Okay, I might have to go with a real one, you guys. And the price is better than the fake plants. All right guys, I ended up going with this one just because of the height. It would be much easier to fit in my frame. So it's just more what I'm looking for. Last stop of the day, you guys, and then I am done. So hopefully we can find what we're looking for. So it is slowly but surely coming together, you guys. As you saw, I got my plant. Good, check that off the list. I am gonna have to buy a different pot for the plant, but that is tomorrow's problem. So I really, really, really want to get this canvas that I'm looking for. I've tried Marshalls, I've tried Home Goods, and I just haven't been able to put my finger on one that I'm I'm content with, you know? So hopefully let's see what Bed Bath & Beyond has to offer. Um, I know this store is typically more pricey, so let's see what we can manage. Okay, so these are huge, also very dark. This is cool, this map. Um, this is actually really cool. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I love this, like, personally. These clocks are really cool too. Super cute, I love that white one, it's like so sleek. And these, you guys, they fit the color scheme I'm going for, so very light colors. Um, would look very nice on a white background and like you sitting in front of them, but it's just small You know, I'd have to get like two or three of these to fill up the background So just not quite what I'm looking for So Unfortunately you guys it looks like today we are not coming up as successful um, So at least I got the plant 
but I did not get a canvas or a photo. I did not get a pot for the plant today. So we basically just got the plant. So I have things to find, but I'm not having any luck finding exactly what I'm looking for as far as like the canvas goes in any of these stores. And I don't think it's worthwhile to continue to drive around to different stores and see what selection they have. Um, so I think I'm just gonna try Amazon and I might just look tonight on Amazon and see what type of, you know, paintings or canvases or something that exactly puts the finger on what I'm looking for tonight that could hopefully be delivered by this week sometime because I need this set up ASAP. So we got one thing off our list today. All right guys, so I obviously had no luck in the stores finding the type of canvas or background that I was looking for. Um, so I ordered some stuff online. So I found these really cool abstract looking canvases. It's a set of four. Um, and here is what they look like. So you can see they are kind of like very neutral toned. They're abstract kind of art. And each one of the four is a different kind of pattern. So I think that that's cool. They're 12 by 12, so pretty small. And what I have in my vision is that I'm gonna kind of put them behind me in one line, one line across. Um, some, some pictures online had them staggered, some had them like in a cube. I think one line across is good. I'm also gonna have the plant in the corner. One thing that I'm worried about is kind of my background being too distracting. So we're gonna set it up the way that I see it in my head, see how it looks, and then go from there. So let's do it. evenly spaced apart and equal in level as possible so now I'm just going to set up my plant and my ring light and everything around my desk and finalize the vision it's getting there All right guys, so it looks great here from this angle, but Houston, we have a problem when I sit on Zoom. I'll show you guys the frame. You can clearly see that my lovely plant is in the frame, but the photos are nowhere to be found. The canvases are not in my Zoom frame, so that is an oversight on my part. I should have you know, really sat down and figured out what was my height for my frame on Zoom before actually hanging the pictures up. So now I'm going to have to bring them down a few inches so that they're in my frame. All right guys, so I have fixed the canvases behind me. So now they are all more on eye level of my Zoom frame. So in the background of my Zoom, you can see them behind my head. So I will flip my screen and show you guys what that looks like. So you guys can see here on my zoom that you can see each canvas behind my head only about an inch or two of each which i think is good it's it's a nice little like mm, that's a nice painting but also not too overwhelming or distracting behind the scenes you see a nice plant here in the background and i'm straight on nice background neutral colors this is what i wanted so this is exactly what I wanted you guys. And although it took some running around and kind of pulling different pieces from different places, it was worth it to find exactly what I was looking for because it's such a versatile, sleek background. I'm gonna use it not only for my three month long interview process for residency, but also probably to just shoot my YouTube content. So it's a very versatile background that kind of fits any setting that you're looking for. So I will include the Amazon link to the canvases you see behind me in the description box below. Super affordable, it was only about $30.
The plant is obviously from Home Depot, $26.95 I believe it was. It is a live plant, so I'm going to have to water it if somebody could remind me. Thank you. But in total, the entire setup you see here today only costed me about $60. So super affordable, good for a student budget or anybody who's working on a budget, but it looks very expensive in my opinion. It looks very sleek, very clean cut, very classic, and um, it didn't cost as much as it probably looked like it cost. So A plus for that. And just to show you guys this viewpoint for how the ring light is set up, this is what it looks like. So I have my ring light right kind of on top of my Mac, so very close to it. Here's what the canvases look like, the plants, and that is my home office virtual interview setup. So let me know what you guys think of my DIY virtual home office setup. Let me know what your thoughts are on all the pieces that I've put together, any suggestions or recommendations that you have, and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed or got something out of it. Be sure you are subscribed and tuned into all the latest content, and I will see you next time. Love you, fam.